All right, budget magic time. Playing some red green combustible ramp in standard. And. Okay. Well, if we get one more land, this hand is kind of good. Cultivator into Hedron Archive. Hopefully, the land is a red source and we gear hulk, and then life should be good. Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Foreboding Ruins for our opponent. We also have some removal, which is good. Inventor's Apprentice. Well, crack this. Grab a mountain. Let's just death cap. Pass the turn. Hopefully we find land and our death cap doesn't die. And the land is red. And then our death cap still doesn't die. Then he drew archive. That's the plan. Oh, <laughs> uh, alright. Plan isn't going to work. There goes our, our death cap. Come on, land! Alright, Evolving Wilds is a land, in theory. And even though we don't get our Hedron Archive down early, and we wouldn't have anyway, we do get to start killing our opponent's stuff. I think we take one here and see what our opponent does. There might be a better target post-combat for our Harness Lightning. Another Inventor's Apprentice. Well, let's kill one of those. Crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a Mountain. Well, we're getting all our Evolving Wilds. Which is okay. We get to kill something else. Next turn, finally Hedron Archive. Then the turn after that, we are going to combust our opponent. Opponent goes to combat. We'll take one. See what our opponent does. Four Boney Gruins. Tapped. Well, let's crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Forest. Play Hedron Archive. Play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Maybe we end up regretting not killing Inventor's Apprentice. But if our opponent plays like a Smuggler's Copter, we're going to be glad we have a Fiery Temper left around. PNLR for our opponent. Gets in with Inventor's Apprentice for two. Well, Crack Evolving Wilds. Get a Forest. And let's just Combustible Gear Hulk. We could just 20 our opponent. That would be sweet. Probably unlikely, but could happen. We have all of our Evolving Wilds gone. Wow! 18! We 18'd him. <laughs> combustible Bedlam Re <laughs> Oh, Combustible <laughs> Wild Wander and Bedlam Reveler. Oh, <laughs> and we got the Fiery Temper in hand. I'm glad, I'm glad we didn't cast it, though. Oh, we still haven't gotten the 20, but we've had a lot of, like, 13s, 18s. I think 18 is our biggest. <laughs> oh my god. I think our <laughs> I think our previous I think our previous best one was 17, which also led to the fiery temper kill. Actually in our very first match against uh blue white or blue red spells, we 17 to our opponent. <laughs> our opponent's in shock and sc <laughs> and scoops it up. Oh, they don't <laughs> Oh, it's so good. So good. Oh my god. Well, we get a lot of sideboard cards against this deck. We get Radiant Flames and Weavers of Lightning. I'm gonna go down a couple of our Decimators, a couple of Tireless Trackers, and some Wild Wanderers? I don't know if this is smart or not. We're gonna try it like this. So it's gonna be less likely we get the combo kill. But it's going to be more likely we can just be kind of the control deck and kill our opponent's stuff and win. Uh, okay. All right. This is fine. Double Harness Lightning is good. Opponent has an untapped for Boating Ruins. And the Courier gets in 4 1. Now, Timber Gorge, go. Swamp for our opponent. And there's the Looter Scooter. Well, we're going to have to kill that. Opponent gets in, 4-1, with the Courier. Let's play a Forest, pass the turn. Plan on Harness Lightning... Lightning? Lightning. Casting Harness Lightning, targeting a Smuggler's Copter. Alright, another Courier. Here comes Smuggler's Copter. Then beginning of combat, just Harness Lightning. Get rid of that thing. No looting for our opponent. Gets in, 4-1. You would have thought they would want to have more cards under one rather than splitting them up, but I don't know. We could draw Radiant Flames would be excellent. 
Well, let's just Evolving Wilds pass the turn. Leave up our Harness Lightning and just kind of see what happens. There's a mountain for our opponent. Goes to combat. So let's Harness Lightning this Courier before they get to draw another card. Or exile another card, which would let them draw cards in the future. Gets in. 4 1. Down to 16. Follow up is key to the city. I'll well, crack this. Grab a green, 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 red, red. And let's just grab our white source. We got enough colored sources. We draw Fiery Temper. Well, let's just Cinder Glade. Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, let's run out our Hedron Archive. Pass the turn. I'm thinking that we might kill the Courier because it's getting to the point where it's going to draw our opponent cards. But I don't know if it's worth it. This lets us, next turn, uh, do two things. We can either Serve into the Conduit and Fiery Temper, or we can just Bedlam Reveler. We will probably go the other direction, though. Because we, the more empty-handed we get before we Bedlam Reveler, the better off we are. Another land for our opponent. Incendiary Flows, our face. And passes. Ooh. Ooh. Weaver of Lightning. Well, let's serve into the Conduit. Get some energy. Weaver of Lightning. Play a forest, pass the turn. This works out. If our stuff lives, we can Bedlam Reveler, discard Fiery Temper, kill Bombat Courier with our Weaver of Lightning trigger, and hit our opponent. I'm expecting them to attack and sack. There's a PNLR for our opponent. Discards a card, makes the Courier unblockable. Ooh, discards on license disintegration. Gets in for one, exiles another card. Down to 11. Opponent passes. We draw a mountain, so play the mountain. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Play Bedlam Ruffler. Discard our hand, including Fiery Temper. Madness, Fiery Temper at the PNLR. Shoot down Bomb at Courier, which our opponent will sack, I'm sure. So opponent draws some cards, back up to four. We get rid of PNLR. Play another Servant of the Conduit. Get some energy. And pass the turn. Uh, if we, we cited out some of our... Uh, what's it called? Um, decimators. But if we draw a decimator, I think we just win. Also, apart from getting like burnt out, we're not in horrible shape. We're at a pretty high life total. Our board state's not horrible. Transgress the Mind can take our Hedron Archive. Opponents down to two cards. Plays Scrap Heap Scrounger. Discards a card, gonna make Thopter unblockable. Gets in 4 1, down to 10. Now well, let's start by sacking this to draw a couple cards. Hey, two lands? That's not great. Well, let's do some attacking. Two lands is not at all what we wanted there. Hit our opponent down to 13, serve into the conduit. Play a Cinder Glade. Deathcap Cultivator. Pass the turn. Opponent can draw a card if they want. They do, with the keys to the city. Inventor's Apprentice. Inventor's Apprentice. Well, we need to draw something here. If we just draw a land or a mana dork, we're kind of in bad shape. Radiant Flames would be super good. There goes our Weaver. Opponent. Goes attacking. Uh, let's trade Servant of the Conduit with the Scrap Heap. Radiant Flames gets rid of our opponent stuff. Also puts us down to just a Bedlam Reveler, though. Is that worth it? If we attack, our opponent can just double block the Reveler. Yeah, I think we gotta do it. So, red, green, white. 
Radiant Flames X3 pumps up Bedlam Reveler. Gets rid of all the other stuff. We get in for four. And pass the turn. Hoping for something big. Most likely combustible, but... What did our opponent find? Another Inventor's Apprentice. And passes. We draw a forest. Well, I think we have to attack. Put our opponent down to six. Then get back Scrap You Scrounger. Hit us for five. Ay. Well, I guess that's the downside of taking out big expensive finishers is we're not as likely to draw them. Although, it went pretty poorly with our Bedlam Reveler. Opponent gets in with both. Put us down to five. We draw... Wild Wander gets us... A mountain. Get in with Bedlam Reveler. Opponent discards a card. Well, this is it. We're dead to many things. Bombat Courier, Burn Spells, any of that stuff. Opponent gets to draw an extra card. They put us to one with keys to the city. Did they draw something? Uh, Unlicensed Disintegration also does it. All right. Well, that was close. We are about a card away. I guess we can bring in Appetite and try it like that. All right, we're on the play here for game three. And, okay, a little slower than we'd like. Drawing an untapped, just a basic land would make this hand a ton better. But this isn't the worst. Servant of the Conduit is actually pretty reasonable. Basically, if we hit an untapped land, I'm very happy. Inventor's Apprentice for our opponent. So crack this, get a green source. Come on, basic. Well, Evolving Wild, pass the turn. Not exactly what we wanted, but we can make do. So I'm for our opponent. And gets in for one. Crack this, grab a mountain. There's a Reveler. Well, Cinder Glade... Servant of the Conduit, pass the turn. Smoldering Marsh for our opponent. And Incendiary Flows, our creature, sure. Gets in, 4-1. Land? Alright, let's try it again. Servant of the Conduit, get some more energy, pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Another Incendiary Flow. Wouldn't mind destroying a land, so we can do two things next turn. There's a land. So, Deathcap Cultivator, pass the turn. Now Harness Lightning is available if we need it, although it's even better next turn once we get Weaver down. See what our opponent does, though. They might be running out of removal. Opponent gets in for one. We will take it. Down to 16. Ooh, and Blood Hall Priest, okay. Well, luckily we have an answer for that. In Weaver of Lightning, and then Harness Lightning plus ping and pass the turn feels like we're in good shape we're actually not that far away from bedlam reveler either all right there goes our weaver no damage though since we our opponent did not have an artifact and we just keep drawing weavers so play weaver get in for two pass the turn opponents use a ton of removal hopefully they're about out opponent passes well let's play a third weaver <laughs> the mono weaver draw pass the turn all right transgress gets to take one of our two big things what does our opponent find scarier they take the gear hulk that's fine and pass well let's just pass the turn how far away are we from actually well there's a death cap play another death cap pass the turn so we're probably going to harness lightning this turn just because we That'll let us plat, uh, cast a Reveler. We could also Decimate. We're hoping our opponent plays a creature, then we kill the creature, ping Inventor's Apprentice, etc. What does our opponent have? Lightning Axe, discard Fiery Temper. What are they going to Fiery Temper? Fiery Temper, one of our Death Caps. Alright, eh, that's annoying. Opponent passes. We get a land. Pass the turn. Opponent passes 
Uh, let's kill that thing. Cultivator. So, let's just Bedlam Reveler. We discard a couple of decent things, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, we get a Gearhawk out of the deal, which makes it much more worth it. Assuming our opponent can't kill it, or make us discard it. Play the Cinderglade, pass the turn. Our Gearhawks won't be as good as usual. We already have gotten through some of our big stuff. Fiery Temper, our Reveler. Is this double burn spell? Fiery Temper, alright. Plays of Forboarding Ruins tapped. Still, our opponent's got to find a way to deal with Combustible Gear Hulk, or they're going to die. So attack with both, put our opponent down to 14, and see what our opponent picks with the Gear Hulk. Alright, they, they choose to let us mill. We hit them for 6 by milling two Fiery Tempers, and our opponent scoops it up! Sweet! Well, getting it done with <laughs> with Green Red Ramp, Combustible Ramp. Got our all-time record 18-ing our opponent <laughs> with Combustible. Sweet!